Hello and welcome to another video from the Micro Rooster. Today's topic is threshold art. We've covered threshold, advanced thresholds, but what we didn't cover is really some fancy ways to take advantage of threshold. So here I'm going to talk about one idea and hopefully it'll inspire other ideas from you. Uh, but it's just a simple, neat concept of using symbols for thresholds. So let me switch over to the web. I'm going to design this in web. So this is the final product, what I want to produce. Notice here, I have a simple report, in this case, a dashboard, one visualization, just a simple grid in it. And notice that I'm using something like this with some tickers. Um, and it could be something like stocks, it could be indicators, whatever you, way you want it to be. So one way to go about this is replacing items with uh, images. But if we don't want to use images, we just want to use built-in fonts and built-in capabilities within the tool we can take advantage of the replace text. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. Let's start with a fresh start. And let's go create a dashboard from, I'm gonna add a data set. I'm gonna place it right here in the panel. Edit mode, keep it simple. So here we go, and let's expand this a little bit, try to make it look better. So notice that we have different values right here. Um, so let's say we want to create a threshold on one of these items. One way to do this is if we don't want to hide either one of these values, but we want to add symbols, is let's create a derived element. So let's insert a new metric. And let's just base it on, let's say revenue, and let's call it Rev threshold. All right. Great. And then I'm going to add it to my report. I don't need the title, so I'm going to rename it. And in the name here, I'm just going to do a space a gap. So there it's gone. So I don't really give, want to give it a name. And I'm going to say whenever this value is, whenever revenue is greater than, than 1,000, I'm going to give it a symbol. So how am I going to do that? I'm going to go here, advanced, and I'm going to filter on the revenue column or the revenue threshold itself because it's the same number where it's greater than, let's do 1500. Let's apply this. And here we're going to use a different font and I'm going to go here and choose Go all the way to the bottom. See these four? Web dings, wing dings one, wing dings two, and wing dings three. They got all the symbols you can imagine. And if you downloaded this sheet from the web which shows you what letter on our keyboard corresponds to which symbol. So now you can choose whatever symbol you want. So web dings is the first one I want to use the check. So I want it, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it a I give it a blue color web things. If you go to the desktop, these will actually, you can read them, but here they're just replaced with the symbols, but they're in that order, web things, wing things, one, two, and three. So I'm placing it with this. Let me give it a bigger size. So a color, font, size, and then I'll replace the data. And that was an A. Remember A, that's where I got it from, A for this check and okay and there it is the check see how it looks like there we go now let's add a few more back to the advance i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it but i'm going to change the value to be greater than or equal to 1000 and what i'm going to do after i apply it is i'm going to change this let's choose a different one Let's choose the up triangle, number three, P, three P. So it's letter P, let's type number three, and let's give it a color code of, let's say green, okay. And this value, copy, paste, and this time we're going to do the Q, which was the down 
pointing down and I'm gonna do something like yellow great a different font 14 all right let's change the value 500 Apply. and then let's copy this and paste and do greater than or equal to zero Apply. and let's see which one we're going to choose so we did the this triangle with that triangle let's do the x r from the first type which is first type and the letter r let's change this to red all right and there we go so now we're starting to see something that looks more useful and it's very clean it's very easy to format you can increase the size or reduce the size of this and there's tons of different symbols you can use with arrows directions some of them are image like and um, obviously you can get creative and find some more I think there's a few more fonts that are also useful and I believe one of them is the marlet and you can look into that as well let's check the you can just look for Windows fonts so marlet font and then you can just go to image and you will find these sheets so this is the marlet font and give you a cheat sheet right here for instance tell you okay these symbols for that marlet font they also have some of the X's and the check marks and the triangles so there's different fonts and they have different symbols uh, that you can use creatively um, just to replace some of your thresholds that way you give your your dashboards a little bit more uh, color obviously you can now start modifying this so properties trying to make it look a little bit more uh, reasonable so just by removing some lines and removing some boxes we can just make it look a little bit better uh, but you get the point here so thresholds are not just for color coding and replacing but you actually can use some fonts smartly to produce some of these interactive uh, thresholds that allow your dashboards and your reports to jump out all right thank you very much and uh, see you next time